Hello everyone! Uh, summer is officially over, as this is the first video I'm doing in uh, long sleeves, uh, but none of that matters, as this next game I have prepared for you will uh, keep you warm <laughs> in the coldest of times. Uh, this game was played in 1972 in Germany, uh, between uh, Ralph Runau and uh, a person named Schmidt. Now, I have a couple of ideas who this person was, but again, I'm not going to use any photos in this video, as uh, I can't really, uh, con uh, you know... Uh, add photos with certainty as uh, to who the players are really are. Uh, so let's see this game. Uh, Ralph Runo is uh, white and uh, Schmidt is black and this is this is such an amazing game uh, y you'll just have to see it. Uh, we have e4 and knight to c6 the Nimzovich defense. We have d4, d5 and now e captures on d5. This is the Scandinavian variation of the Nimzovich defense. Uh, queen captures on d5 and now knight to f3. Now defending that d4 pawn and the black plays bishop to g4 and here we have a uh, bishop to e2 so uh and uh, white black can't really win a pawn here if he would play something like a bishop captures knight uh, bishop captures bishop and the queen captures on d4 uh, this uh, doesn't really work as uh, well uh, you'll simply play bishop captures on, F on c6 with check and uh, black loses a queen here so this would be a terrible blunder by black so after bishop to e2, uh, black played uh, queenside castle. And we have c4 by white uh, attacking that queen. Uh, black plays queen to h5. And now white plays d5. And we have uh, bishop captures on f3 and bishop captures on f3. And uh, I've been in this exact position so many times in blitz games and in bullet games. And uh, I never <laughs> got the idea uh, that Rolf Runa uh, got in this game. Uh, he, uh, Schmidt plays a queen to e5 with check and okay uh, he's checking the black king and also attacking this b2 pawn and uh, it doesn't really matter that uh, his knight is attacked since uh, well if d captures on c6 then white loses a queen uh, but in this position Runau played a bishop to e3 he invites black to capture the b2 pawn and so black does it uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it so we have a uh, queen captures on b2 and Runau castles here. Uh, he's given up a whole rook. Uh, we have queen captures on a1, and uh, now comes the punchline that <laughs> Runau had. He plays d captures on c6, and uh, wow, I mean, what is this sorcery? Uh, he's sacrificing <laughs> a whole queen now. So, of course, well, white does capture it. He plays, uh, black does capture it. He plays uh, rook captures on d1, and now uh, Runau plays uh, c captures on b7 with check. And uh, Schmidt doesn't want to play king to d8 to go into rook capture on d1 with check, so he plays uh, king to b8. And uh, now Runo plays uh, rook captures on d1, and uh, he's threatening rook to d8 checkmate. So black has to stop this, he plays c6, and uh, white captures the pawn, bishop captures on c6, so again he's threatening rook to d8 check with a, promote, with a promotion, and uh, black tries to stop this with king to c7. Although... Although black can, uh, white can still go rook to d8, uh, but uh, white finds an even better move, and this is just this is just brilliant. He plays rook to d7 check, and uh, he he forces black to capture the bishop. So we have uh, king captures on c6, and now uh, the greatest under promotion of all. <laughs> he plays uh, pawn to b8 with a promotion to a knight, and this is instant checkmate. So yeah, this is uh, this is one one beautiful game. Uh, it, this game was suggested to me by a subscriber over my Facebook page, uh, but let's just uh, look at that one more time. So this is move ten. Uh, this is move ten. White just castled here. We have queen captures on a one. Now d captures c six, sacrificing a queen. Rook capture. I mean uh, c captures on b seven with check. King here. Rook d one threatening checkmate. C six captures and boom. Rook to d7 check, king captures, and b8 knight with a with a beautiful checkmate. So yeah, I do I do think that uh, y you know you should really know this game by heart, as, the, as someone who plays the Nimzovich defense uh, could get into this uh, well very easily. And uh, I don't know, I would be very happy if I won a game like this. And uh, <laughs> well, it's it's just amazing. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank uh, David uh, Yedizion, uh, Joel Lundquist and uh, Amit Ziv for your contribution to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it guys, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, uh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Yeah, a lot of people ask me have I uh, chose the winner of the chess club giveaway. Uh, no, I will do it uh, today at uh, 8, 8 o'clock p.m. 
creation time. So in about uh, in about nine hours, uh, I will make a video about it and also uh, announce the winner on my Facebook page. And uh, one other thing I wanted to say, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, if you ever suggest a game, uh, you know, you would like me to show in the comment section, uh, please just use the word suggest or suggestion. Uh, so, well, I, when I look for a game that was suggested to me, I can't really remember them all from the comments. So I just search the comments with the word suggest or suggestion. And, uh, well, if you just write one of those words, then I will find your suggestion. Because uh, I, I do get quite a lot of suggestions. So yeah, that's it. Uh, as usual, you can check through all my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.